Arcade, Zhang Shin, and my name's Colin Trithui. I'm with uh, PR Media Now. We work with uh, Zhang in, uh, in promoting uh, the launch of IR Arcade. And today is a big day in the history of IR Arcade. And uh, Zhang's very excited. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to ask Zhang for a really quick, uh, brief description. I like your shirt, Zhang. Looks great. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. I love it too. It's my favorite. Show. We're going to ask John just for a quick, uh, quick one minute background on, on his inspiration behind starting and launching IA Arcade. And then we're going to get to the big unveil and show you something uh, very exciting right after that. So John, why don't you just tell us uh, your motivation behind creating this company and, uh, and just a quick little uh, summary of where you are and where you've been. Oh, thank you very much. So I'm the CEO of Arcade, IA Arcade and, um, it's been a dream for me to be able to launch this since when I was young, right? I love. I used to go to arcade all the time, play games. I'm a huge gamer, 40-year gamer myself. And ever since I was young, I'm like, I need to have an arcade at home. But unfortunately, I, I wasn't able to make it happen, uh, even when I was growing up, because they're very expensive, and they're too big to fit in my house, and I, my house uh, spaces are very limited. Uh, so therefore, uh, what we say is, let's do this, uh, let's make this for ourselves, right? And um, we we were we we worked on it. We made it, and we said, uh, "Oh, and we found out that there are lots more people who wanted something like this in the world who have the same passion as I do." Um, so we said, uh, "Let's uh, make this for all the gamers in the world." Uh, and that's how we came about uh, making our product. And we are very excited about this, and we are very excited to show you what we are about to show you today. All right, John. Let's get big to the. Let's get right to the big unveil, and uh, then we'll follow up after this. We're gonna do a quick. Uh, you, you'll uh, see John and I disappear here, and uh, please stay tuned here for about a minute and thirty seconds of the big unveil of II Arcade. Hope you love it. There you have it. And we'll just get Jong up here. Jong, is, Jong has a countdown on his window. There you are, Jong. What are your thoughts on uh, on what you've just seen? I know uh, it was it was amazing to see the new design. Maybe just give us a quick comment <laughs> on the on the inspiration behind the design. Yes, uh, so first of all, let me let me just show you uh, the device that I have in, in front of me in my house. Uh, yes, good this idea. Is, it's real, it's right there, uh, it's real. It's working awesome. Uh, I love it. Let me tell you a little story about what happened. Uh, so uh, we, this was, uh, thank you, thank you everybody. So uh, this was actually our design um, to start with. Uh, and when, right before we went to CES, right? Um, we, we had our previous prototypes there. And in our prototypes, we're having some fun with it, right? So because these are devices that we thought nobody's gonna see, right? So we put some uh, some of our favorite characters in there, uh, and we built their prototypes. Now we're as we're testing them, and we're getting to see yes, we're like, we need to get rid of these characters. Uh, so we that's why uh, we came up with something really quick uh, with the space design uh, for the CES, so that we can get something uh, out there to show you the device itself. 
Uh, this design has been uh, in, in work for a uh, very long time, actually. We have a fantastic design. So what happened is that we, so we, I gave a, a very difficult order. Um, I said our design needs to be very retro, right? Awesome, really cool retro looking. At the same time, we said it has to be really futuristic, right? And th those are those are contradictory with each other. So it, it was a very difficult design. But our design, we have a really good designer, and he was able to make this happen. So I'm very proud of what we have. Uh, we just got this done um, just a little, bit of, a little bit while ago. And that's why uh, we had to uh, sort of keep it quiet until today, because we wanted to make sure that it's complete, it's looking great, and we are ready to show it to you. And here we are today, as I promised. Uh, here's our here's our uh, final look. Yeah, it looks great, John. It's it's really really something to see it um, see the visuals, and I love the video you put together, which was actual gameplay uh, by you. You played the game yourself to demonstrate the video, which is really neat that that you're so hands on with this. I'm gonna put, bring a couple oh, of other it. pictures in here. Uh, let's let's show the um, the tabletop version, which I know a lot of people would like to see. I'm gonna I'll remove one of these shots because we have a lot going on up here, but. Uh, what, how about just a quick comment on the tabletop, uh, John? Uh, so, one of, so when we were designing this, right, one of the very difficult part of designing was that our, our product had also had to be a tabletop as well, which means when it's by itself, it has to look amazing. When it's put together as a full device, it has to not only look amazing, but it has to look like a one device. That was very difficult to achieve but uh, we have a great designer again. We were able to make it happen, so I'm very happy with it. Excellent, and we'll, we'll add in the, um, let's check out the controllers here quickly. That's This is the new uh, new panel control design. How about a comment about this design, this look? Uh, <laughs> uh, this part this part also, uh, we, we've actually had many different variations in this, uh, variations, because when you're playing, you're right in front of the device, and you're one of the areas that you're looking at is this control area, right? So we want to make sure that this is beautiful and it looks right. Oh my God, right? Every time you see it, the color coordination was very important for us as well, because we had to differentiate between a player and player two at the same time. The design language from the device perspective has to be like perfect overall. So uh, control panel was actually very difficult to design, but I think we we're able to make it happen. And uh, at, at, at the same time, uh, make the design language overall go great. Uh, one thing that I would also like to point out is the, um, the neon orange color. Uh, neon orange color was, uh, was made with, after lots and lots of variations uh, to find the perfect color for that. And uh, what we, one, of the, one of the theme of our device was neon, right? Because uh, we we strongly believe that neon is what brings the both futuristic as well as the retro look, uh, and it can make that uh, feel happen at the same time. So we paid a lot of very strong attention to that color itself, um, and we sort of call it uh, IA Arcade Neon Orange internally. Uh, but we're very proud of it, and um, especially if you look at that. Um, is it neon color picture? It looks fantastic, and real life too. It looks fantastic and uh, it really stands out. Uh, so we are very proud of the color as well. Jong, I, uh, I have a picture of the speakers up there. Maybe just a comment uh, for some of the new followers <laughs> who are tuning in for the first time. First of all, they look really cool, but tell us okay. about what, what you're experiencing. It's hard to, it would be very difficult for us to demonstrate over a Facebook live feed that the, 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 the uh, acoustics and the, that, the full sound that you get when you're playing. Maybe give us that personal experience that you get when you're, when you're playing with those speakers. Sure. Sure, absolutely. And before I get there, one thing that I want to say, bye-bye big R in the middle, right? <laughs> I know everybody hated that. Uh, I personally hated it myself, even though I put it on there, because um, you, you just put it on there just for the sake of it. But um, cool, Toby, I know you're there listening to me right now. I, I know you hated that R. Uh, Retro Ralph, if you're listening to me, I know you hated that R. And it's gone. So uh, it's for you. <laughs> we dedicate this to you. Um, but anyways, yeah, uh, so we, we that part of the device, the marquee, is a very important part in a arcade experience. We know that. And uh, while we we're making that happen, we also want to bring the experience, as I said in the last call, that uh, the experience of the audio was extremely important for us, right? Uh, 
when the audio, when the speakers are pointing downwards, you don't get that effect. Uh, if you if the point the speaker is pointing upwards from the bottom, you don't get that effect. The best audio uh, that you can experience, right, is when it's right in front of you. And we have two uh, speakers, right? We have 80 watts of very powerful stereo speakers right in front of you. That gives you that uh, experience of immersiveness and that we, we wanted to bring, right? So it's got, uh, the bass is great. The treble is great. Um, the audio stereo effect is really great. So when you're playing games, like for example, Data Effect that I showed last time, you actually feel when you when you when you shot ah oh, right I, I really feel it uh, and that's the type of effect that an experience that we wanted to bring and this design uh, that we have uh, is able is the one that is able to bring we actually tried many different design variations and this was the one so there it is folks <laughs> Excellent, John. Hey, we're getting some questions about the screen itself, the display. Um, is yep. there anything you can announce to tell us uh, about the display? What can people expect from a size perspective and anything else you want to share about the display? And I'll put a picture up while you talk about that. Uh, thank you so much. Um, so uh, t I guess today is an announcement day, right? So I'll tell you a second announcement. Uh, Rutalo, um, I wanted to make you happy. I am very proud to, proud, to, proud to announce that we're going to be putting 19 inch for our standard model. Okay, uh, just a little background on, on this and why this decision took so such a long time is because these parts are extremely expensive. Um, the cost difference, right? The part cost difference between a 17 inch and 19 inch is between $15 to $20. Which will increase, right? The it, which increase the cost price cost of the price of the device uh, from forty five dollars to a sixty dollars. I'm sorry, uh, sixty dollars to eighty dollars um, from a retail price perspective. That's how much of a big difference in the price uh, it, it is supposed to make when we uh, increase the device uh, screen size from seventeen inch to nineteen inch, and that was one of the big reasons why we were. Uh, contemplating right last last during our last podcast we were, were discussing about how these parts are very expensive and things like that and that that's that was one of the reasons why at the end of the day uh, our decision was hey look uh, we are doing this out of our passion right we we are gamers we know what other gamers want we have to deliver the right experience for these guys the best you have ever experienced so we said um my excuse my language, but we said, um, screw money. We're just gonna give them the best uh, device that we can possibly make without increasing the price uh, for the increase of the uh, this display. So we're gonna eat the cost of the device, the display display increase, and we're going to be delivering you uh, the uh, 19 inch display as a standard for the same price that we were we were contemplating with. John, that's uh, that's great we, news. I can tell you the yeah, comment. You. You, you'll be able to follow up with these comments later, but uh, there, you've got a lot of people very happy about the display. Um, down the road, just a little tip: when it comes time for uh, for venture capitalists and everyone else, we're going to have to drop that uh, screw money quote. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell but, that to my uh, investor, please. <laughs> but hey, no, it's it's great for the it's great for the gamers, uh, and and that's that's amazing news. And um, John. Um, You've got a lot of announcements today. I'll just ask you whether you want to uh, show some gameplay, some gameplay screenshots first, or if you want to get to the next announcement related to pricing. Yeah, uh, yeah real, real quickly uh, before I get into that, a uh, little bit more on the display. Uh, okay. One of the reasons why we decided on 19 inch display is both experience, right? The, we, we've, when we played it with, we tried both 17 and 19. By the way, the picture that you're seeing here is 17 inch variation. Um, you're not going to be getting this. You're going to be getting the 19 inch variation. Uh, one of the big reasons, as everybody said, is design. Design is very important in, in, in part of, as part of the experience. We know that. And uh, 19 inch will decrease the bezel size of the device dramatically. Uh, and less bezel, we know that uh, that's going to be beautiful. Um, so we said, we're going to decrease the bezel uh, as much as we can, and um, so that the device looks beautiful. And again, at the same time, um, what is it? Uh, the experience becomes much better. So 
um, that those were some other reasons why. Great stuff. Excellent, John. And uh, how about a comment about this screenshot I just dropped in here? Just tell us about this game. Oh, sure. This was actually, actually supposed to be one of the secrets. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, because you showed it, um, we're, we're bringing some of these amazing games uh, onto our device. This is actually uh, one of the games that we will be bringing to you. It is an amazing jet ski game, uh, right? If you yeah. loved uh, back in the day, Wave, Wave Race, uh, Wave Race 64 on Nintendo, which was one of my favorite games. I mean, this game, like, is amazing graphics, and uh, you you will love this game. We're bringing a lot of games very similar to these, uh, and on this 19-inch display on this beautiful cabinet, I am sure you will love it. And more information okay. coming on the um, game soon. Your uh, your microphone's breaking up just a tiny bit suddenly. Okay, just make sure it's, a, or just make sure you're plugged in. All maybe something just uh, slipped out a little bit. Yeah, give it a shot. There. Can you hear me okay now? Uh, I wouldn't put it close. Just to, just drop it down there and let's see. Okay. Uh, okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, Hello? it's still it's still distorted. So um, maybe uh -oh. uh, I don't know if you want to. Oh, there that was better. No, oh, okay, is it better. I think Can we're back. Uh, a little bit. It just seems to be over modulating. I'm not sure why. Okay, it may be a but, my bandwidth what I can, of internet. What, you know what? I, what I'll do, John, just for a minute here, mm -hmm. because we, we may have some new people that just just joined in. How do you feel about me just playing the video again? So uh, if we have some new followers that just jumped on, they can see the unveil video. Yep, sounds good. And uh, we can just check. It. We can just work on your mic in the background quickly while we do that. <laughs> sounds good. Okay, let me just. Uh, yep. We'll get it queued up here. Show. Okay. So guys, uh, if you've seen this earlier on, uh, it's kind of cool. So maybe just give it one more watch and thank you for your patience with that. And we'll just get Jong's uh, microphone straightened out here. Hello. Okay, guys. I, kinda, I think yeah, I think uh, the video was not playing. Yeah, I know it was actually it's playing in the edit software, but it's not playing on the uh, for some reason it's not playing on the screen. No problem. I see. Okay. I think we got a lot of we have a lot of media loaded up here, so I think it's kind of overwhelming the system a little bit. Yeah, apologies for that. We will get this uploaded in our uh, Facebook and YouTube channels as well for you to see. Yeah, excellent. Good stuff. Okay, great. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. So, John. Um, Moving on here, I think you have a couple of more announcements you wanted to make. So uh, yeah. I don't know if you want to jump right into the into the into the pricing, or if you want to continue to talk a little bit about some of the game titles, or uh, maybe the pricing yeah. next. Yeah, I know. I know there is another question that everybody's been looking for, uh, and this is a topic that I really sort of do not like to talk about because I think there is no relevance. But I'm going to give you some information on our specification. Um, so. Uh, <laughs> um, our, we, our, <laughs> our, our CPU uh, for those techies out there is a uh, two gigahertz uh, hexacore. We and we have four gigabytes of LPDDR4X dual channel memory, uh, and, and this in this baby here, uh, we have uh, sixty-four gigabytes of storage. Uh, it's a lot of storage, a lot of games you can load, get get loaded into this device with a storage. Um, Wi-Fi 82.11 AC, um, and of course, 80 watts of very powerful uh, stereo amplifier uh, loaded into this device. 
um, of course, top quality joystick set buttons and 19 inch display. There it is. One thing that I wanted to tell you, though, again, is that has absolutely no meaning whatsoever in my dictionary because um, from my dictionary, first of all, the, the specification are very powerful to run the games that we're, we're running. Uh, here's the important thing. Um, it's all about engineering, right? Uh, if you look at your phone, it, I, I, I mentioned this last time on my last, uh, last Facebook Live. When, when you look at your phone, for example, with the most expensive components and 1,000 gigabytes of memory, 1,000 gigahertz, 1,000 uh, uh, hectahertz <laughs> of, of uh, CPU, et cetera, et cetera, it doesn't mean anything because your phone will slow you down. You know the reason why? Because you have 1,000 things running at the same time. That's what phone does, right? That's what PCs do. You have 1,000 things running at the same time. And you play with your phone for about a week or so, it's going to slow down. That's where our device comes in. Uh, and that's where our different uh, device differentiates huge, big time. Because our we have our own uh, customized operating system that is completely optimized to play the games, play only games, right? Well, it does one thing, and it does one thing absolutely perfectly, and that is playing games, right? That's how, that's how we design our operating system. Our hardware is designed to play games perfectly. And these two elements, hardware and operating system, are designed together. So it's very optimized for gaming purposes only, one purpose. And it does that very, very well. So just to give you an example, let's say when you are playing a game in our operating system, nothing else is running except for extremely small core components. Nothing else is running, which means um, your game that is running right now is taking up all of your CPU power, all of your memory power to run the game. That's why no matter what, whatever we throw into it, it runs extremely well. It runs perfectly. That is the reason why. So I just want to get that out to you. Um, so um, our device is extremely powerful, uh, very powerful specification, but most, much more importantly, it's completely optimized for your gaming. And we did that because we wanted to deliver the best gaming experience to you. So there it is. Uh, for those of you who are specification technical hungry, there's the info. But again, most importantly, it's all about experience. And it's all about optimization. So that's what I want to say. And that's the differentiation that IRK brings that no one else is able, going to be able to bring. And by the way, Colin, video is playing Very good, John. Can you hear me? Yeah, I just thought I'd throw, can you hear the audio on it? I, yeah, you can. I thought I'd just have it up there for the visuals. Yeah, audio. Oh, you can, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can hear the audio. Okay, yeah. If there's no audio, it's okay there. Can you hear the audio? Uh, yeah, I can, yes. It's, it's loud. Okay. Yes. I'll drop it out of there. Sorry, guys. It says no here. Get rid of that. Okay. Again, thank you for your patience with the technology here. It's mainly me. I'm, I'm running the, uh, the IT, so it's not the IT's fault. <laughs> Zhang, um, do, you want, do you want to take a few comments, uh, questions, comments, or would you rather uh, move on with yeah, the next topic? Yeah, absolutely. Or? No, let's, let's take some comments. I, lo I love your questions. Everybody's questions are amazing. Love it. OK, excellent, yeah. So a lot of the comments are related to the 19-inch uh, the monitor becoming officially announced, so that's great. We covered that earlier. Um, Another question about the price. I think you just you just covered that, but maybe uh, maybe just touch on that again. Uh, just maybe just the lowest price, Zhang, uh, the starting price. Uh, let's get to the price after we answer some questions. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Sounds good. And uh, Patrick Walton says we appreciate the transparency. Thank you, Patrick. Um, comment about uh, good specs since it's dedicated to just games. Do you want to comment on that one? Oh, I'll just say thank you. <laughs> but again, uh, okay, don't, the most important thing is experience. So I, I want everybody to focus on the experience rather than you know awesome spec uh, because experience is what matters. Very good. Another comment from uh, Marilyn Schumann saying she loves the design. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. We did it for you. Just just to let you know, we did it for all the gamers out there. That's who we did it for. 
I'm happy with it. And there's a, there's a new hashtag, John. Hashtag screw money. <laughs> <laughs> screw money. <laughs> that was uh, Do Dominic Manuel. That, that only that only refers to the game development, not the actual uh, viability <laughs> of the company later. That's uh, that's another that, that expression drops to the background later. Um, lots of thank yous. Um, there's a suite with an exclamation mark. That's a good sign from Mike Nichols. Thank you, Mike. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, size of display question, which you answered. Lots of thank yous, lots of compliments. It looks better. There's a nice comment here uh, from uh, Patrick Walton. Love the mix of red and black or and or orange and black. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. And uh, just just a lot of uh, geez, a lot of good stuff here. This is. Uh, thanks, guys, for all those comments. It's just a lot of uh, a lot of similar uh, comments, John. Would you like to uh, do you want to show some screenshots? I can sh pop up a shot of um, Double Dragon or any any game you want. Maybe you should say the game name before I add it to the screen. <laughs> uh, because we'll be doing a lot of uh, uh, gameplays with uh, that we're going to be playing together in future Facebook lives. Uh, I think today uh, let's talk let's talk more about the device. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's. Uh, here's a here's a full length shot, Jong, of uh, what it would look like just in a. Uh, Hang on there. I was just going to show how. Oh, here we go. This is the one I was thinking of. Just, just to show. Uh, I wanted to show the scale of it with someone st standing beside the game. Maybe just comment on this on this picture, John, and and talk about the size of the of the unit from a a gameplay perspective for two people at the same time. Yeah, he's a tall guy, um, but yeah, um, but device size itself is it's very comfortable to play uh, to players. But we are uh, as we discussed a little bit last time that these devices also designed for other experiences as well, right? So one player experience definitely, but we also enable one player utilizing both joysticks and buttons, right? We need to make sure that that experience is very comfortable. And of course, two player experience needs to be very comfortable. And the design of the device, especially the control panel is designed in such a way that we enables this. Uh, the other thing that we had to do, right? And pay attention heavily too, is being able to make this into both the bar top form factor as well as a full size form factor, right? So for example, I know lots of people have been asking if we can widen that control panel and the device size. Um, obviously we can, of course we can, right? But we chose not to. Uh, number one, of course, we wanted to make sure our device fits anywhere in the house and not take up much of your very valuable real estate. At the same time, right? If you want to make uh, keep this as a bar top, and if it was like really fat, uh, you wouldn't like it. <laughs> it doesn't look good. It takes up too much space. And of course, right, the um, bezel size on the display gets wider and looks much uglier. Uh, so this is a design after we analyze over 150 different arcade machines out there. And after many, many, many different iterations, uh, this was a perfect size uh, that enabled everything that I just talked about. So I'm very happy with it. Great, John. A couple of questions, um, and and it's great that some of the followers, some of the IR Arcade followers, are asking the uh, the comment. They're answering the questions from uh, earlier on our behalf. But 19 inches, the screen size that was announced today, um, and that question's answered there. Um, Patrick Walton asking um, price points and how can you buy one? Do you do you want to address where uh, where we stand with that currently? Uh, sure, absolutely. So uh, I will announce that today as well. Um, the Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> retail price of the bar tab, uh, we are targeting five hundred ninety nine dollars, five ninety nine. Um, the retail price for the stand uh, bottom part, we're targeting one hundred forty nine dollars. Uh, so, uh, in order to make this happen, the parts are very expensive, and device itself is very expensive to make. Um, and especially, we want to make sure everything is top-notch premium. So we're using the top-notch premium wood and material, everything for the cabinet. So if you look at it, it feels extremely solid. It doesn't only look premium, but it is actually premium on our product. So we want to deliver the premium experience for the price that you can afford. And this is where we decided to go with that price point. Now, uh, with that in mind, 
I know we have a fans, a lot of fans out there. Um, and uh, this is where we said, let's provide an opportunity for our fans out there um, who really want to want to get one of our devices and an opportunity to go get them for a much cheaper price. And this is where we decided to uh, do a Kickstarter. And because Kickstarter with Kickstarter, uh, our costs, we're able to uh, cut down our costs dramatically and able to bring you the devices at a much cheaper price. Uh, so this is why we have decided to do a Kickstarter um, campaign. It's it's not really more about uh, the fact that right we want to get money from Kickstarter and things like that. Not really. Um, of course, there is definitely marketing effect that was more attractive than than that. But most importantly, this provides us an opportunity for us to be able to deliver our product to you at a much significantly cheaper price. I'm sorry, a cheaper cost, so that we're able to deliver that, uh, pass that pass savings on to you to be able to bring it at a much cheaper price. Uh, right now, what we are targeting for our Kickstarter price uh, for our bar top unit is um, early bird starting price, uh, early bird starting price at $299, $299. So um, I hope uh, you can, everybody can. Um, make this happen together with us. Um, we're trying very hard to uh, be able to get our product to you at as uh, great price as possible. So uh, if you can take an advantage of this opportunity, you'll be able to get your product starting at 299 on our Kickstarter campaign, which is coming soon. So there it is. I am very excited to let you know. Well, that's exciting, John. Um... Maybe you shouldn't have unveiled that that two ninety nine Kickstarter price because there were a couple of comments. Take my five ninety nine now. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, sorry. Let Let's pretend I didn't say anything. No. <laughs> okay. okay. No. no, that's great. I mean, I, I've I've done a lot of work with uh, with crowdfunding campaigns, and it, it it is a nice opportunity to um, kind of find out who who your early backers are that really believe in the in the brand and in the product and because it's a commitment from them as well to, to jump into a crowdfunding campaign and support the entrepreneur. So it, it's really nice that you can, you know, reward them with, uh, I'm, I'm not on, totally on the inside, but a below cost uh, price point on Kickstarter is is, uh, is a pretty great way to get it launched. And it also encourages people to jump in early as well. I think there's gonna be a lot of excitement around the launch. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it as well. Um, there are several reasons behind this on why we went, chose to go with this route. Number one, we want to get our device to everyone uh, as much as possible, right? Uh, and within, right? So within the realm of the power that we have, can you see my hands? <laughs> realm of the power that we have, uh, we want to do everything for you as much as possible, which is basically delivering the best quality products, best experience at the best price. And uh, this was one of the ideas that we came up with to enable this and make this happen. Uh, so we we wanted to get our product into as many people's hands as possible utilizing this because we're so proud of it. Uh, uh, we love it. And we're having a lot of fun with it. The experience is amazing. And we're like, we need to get this out to everybody as quickly as possible. Now, here's the other great thing about this as well. We have a lot of games right now, uh, a lot of amazing, awesome games right now that you will be seeing this in the near, near future as well. Um, more people. Uh, get uh, become our family right uh, get our product and get more family and getting uh, become a part of our family uh the game companies will get a lot more interested in getting their games onto our platform as well when that happens uh more people will come in and more games will come in so this is a, a, another great way to for us to be able to continuously keep on growing our game library for you so that you will always have the best and amazing, great games that you can play on this amazing machine that we're introducing to you today. So we wanted to get you this to you as much as possible. That's the reason why. We we have some updated comments uh, now, John. It now says, "Take my two ninety nine, not take my five ninety nine. So the word is out. <laughs> <laughs> ah. so, uh, uh, 
Yeah. Make sure to hurry though. Uh, two ninety nine. You may know Kickstarter. Two two ninety nine doesn't last too long. So yeah, there's, uh, there's, please, there's, please hurry. <laughs> there's requests for for the Kickstarter link. That that link is not up yet. Uh, the 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 official launch date hasn't been announced yet, but it it is coming soon. And uh, we'll definitely. I think I think John, you'll probably unveil that on a future Facebook Live. Am I right to say that? Absolutely, we will. Uh, please watch this space. Please watch our uh, Facebook and Instagram and other accounts. We ha we now should have a new homepage up and running. Please sign up there. We'll be communicating uh, all the information to our mailing list, uh, so so that you can you can be the first one to know. Uh, so we'll deliver to you as quickly as possible. You'll be the first one to know. Excellent, John. Any other points you want to touch on? There are quite a few comments here that that I know you can follow up with after the after the yeah. Facebook Live to make sure we hit them all. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, one thing that I wanted to uh, state real quickly is that um, I, I'm I'm a novice, uh, but uh, bringing these Facebook Live is um, it, it takes a lot of effort and time to prepare ahead of time, uh, and um, it, Colin and I worked uh, very hard to make sure that uh, all these connections are right, uh, technical thing and uh, issues. And as, as you may know, we've been running into some technical issues. Um, and it's been very difficult, especially to control this technical stuff. So uh, I know we've we've um, run into a couple of issues in this uh, Facebook Live as well. Um, uh, we'll, we'll continue to make improvements to deliver better experience. But what, one thing that I want to say is Colin has worked a lot of effort, and he put a lot of energy and um, efforts to bring this to you today. Um, so I just want to thank Colin for making this happen. Oh, thanks, and John. Totally Colin, unnecessary. I really, I really, appreciate really appreciate it, Colin. Thank you so much. Thank you, me. John. Totally unnecessary, but I appreciate it. Hey, um, can I ask one more question? Is it too late to uh, clarify something for a... Follower, you got a, a minute course. or so. Okay, of course. Yeah, he's just asking. Um, do, is it is it just the controller and monitor, or does it come with games as well? Oh, <laughs> great question. Another question that we get all the time. So, yeah. um, it definitely comes with games, and it doesn't just come with games. It comes with amazing games, right? Um, I, I, I uh, sort of stated this during our last Facebook Live, where I said. Uh, we right. We want to put in the games that will show the power of the experiences experiences that you'll be able to get on II Arcade, right? So the games that you'll be getting will have uh, all different experiences from different genres, uh, right? Your nostalgic retro to the latest game, uh, so that you can you can have a great experience as soon as you open the box and turn it on. We want you to try these games and have a lot of fun. Uh, so that's why we are putting in the best games in there. Uh, and uh, and then afterwards, right, uh, we will have a lot more of them available at our game app store. So you'll be able to get them uh, as well. So uh, we'll, be, we'll be including some really good games in there. So uh, um, please be prepared. <laughs> uh, you'll be spending a lot of time uh, having fun with our gaming. Good stuff, John. I think what we can do is um, thank you, everyone. First of all, thank everyone for your great comments and uh, lots of uh, lots of excited people that are really looking forward to the launch, of course. And you'll hear updates about that. Where I think we're, I think we're going to try to do this consistently uh, weekly, John. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, and yes. uh, and and the goal is to have a new announcement each week. And and one of these upcoming weeks, we'll show some of the game titles and and some screenshots and and some gr gameplay as well, with. Uh, Jong venturing from his current location over to the game that he keeps right there. Uh, do you want to show that again, John, <laughs> one last time? Or are we okay? Yeah, no, of course. So yep. there it is. Uh, actually, let me try to, let me, uh, can you see me? Can you I see, see me? John, yes. yes. Okay, I'm just bringing my laptop over so that I can show you to him. Okay, yeah, great. This is how. Uh, Sorry, I'm going over a chair. It looks like you've got a bookshelf yeah. filled with uh, several thousand titles there, uh, John, game titles. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. Yeah, definitely. I'm a gamer. As you can see, I'm a huge baseball fan as well. Um, there we go. Okay, great. And what, what game do you have on screen there, John? Double Dragon. 
Yeah, there uh, it is. Dragon. I see Double Dragon. Great. Yeah. Double Very Dragon cool. is definitely is one of the games that's definitely coming to IA Arcade. This is the 19-inch uh, variation. As you can see, the bezel is very small, uh, much bigger display, uh, very crisp display, and uh, much better experience overall, for sure. Oops. Yeah. There we go. I was trying uh, to show you bigger there. Good stuff. Yeah, so you, you play right there. You, you play there right there in your basement where you have your uh, your pool table and everything else. It's, that's kind of cool that it's part of your game. <laughs> I do. I do. Uh, I play this game with my son and daughter, and they love it. Absolutely love it. And uh, I will make sure to let you experience these via our Facebook Live very soon also. But we got some amazing oh, great here. Yeah, yeah. It's a great family machine, right? I mean, you're playing with your kids, uh, especially during this quarantine. And I'm doing this right now as I speak, so that's why I'm able to tell you it's an amazing machine to have a family fun together. And also, at night when your kids are sleeping or uh, play uh, play many of these games alone as well. We have some really good one-player games as well as uh, family games and two-player games, and also for children games and others as well. That you'll have a lot of fun together with your family. So. Excellent, John. I'm sure your arm's getting tired there because you, I don't think yeah. you're on a smartphone. <laughs> well, on my, your laptop, my, correct? My laptop is pretty heavy, but it's totally right. worth it. I wanted to make sure I show it to you. And again, uh, yeah. Douglas, FYI, I'm a huge gamer. Uh, I have all the systems, blah, 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 all the games. So whenever I have uh, have some money, I buy games. So <laughs> I'm a gamer. Yes. Good stuff, John. Well, why don't we wrap things up for this session? And uh, and we'll, uh, after you say goodbye, John, I might just, I'll try to play that video one last time in case people didn't catch it. And we'll make sure, uh, do our sure. best to make sure we get the audio and that it's playing. So John, any, any last uh, thing you'd like to say? And uh, I'd just like to thank the, thank everyone for following and all your comments and we'll follow up later with the responses because we didn't get them all on the fly here. Sure. I, I also want to say, I want to say uh, thank you very much to everybody. Uh, your excitement is my excitement. And uh, I want to make sure that uh, we, are a, we deliver this amazing experience to you with the best quality, best experience possible at the best price uh, so that you will be very proud of becoming an owner of an IA Arcade and, and becoming part of our family, right? One of the things I experienced in the past, um, I differentiate between a good product and a great product, an amazing product, is when I'm able to say, hey, guys, look, guess what I have? And I want to make sure that IARK is that product for you. And we're working very hard 24-7 to make that happen. And we're going to make sure that we bring the best experience to you and that you'll be very proud of owning. Um, yeah, also, uh, we're, we're currently planning on hosting our Facebook Live every Tuesday and Friday, unless something happens. Um, but we're going to try best to make that happen so, to deliver some new gaming experiences for you. I want to play. I want to make, all, uh, make make many of these Facebook Live sessions uh, pretty informal with you so that we can build relationship and things like that. We can play games together. So let's have some fun, right? So we'll do that. Uh, right, we're going to try our best to do Tuesday and Friday. Um, so watch out for the notices that you get uh, on your phone whenever we start a Facebook Live. Um, and also, if you can sign up to our mailing list, uh, this is where all the announcement gets out to first, along with this uh, Facebook Live sessions, right? So if you can do that, that would be great. Also follow our um, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we're also going to start a YouTube channel so that we can upload these videos up there as well, as well as some awesome demos also. So uh, looking forward to it. I'm very excited for today. Uh, it, it's been, uh, what's the best way to put it? I've been waiting for this moment <laughs> because mm -hmm. as much as you wanted to hear, I wanted to tell you. And uh, I'm so glad that today came. So thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, thank you so much for being a fan. And let's make this happen together. All right? Let's make this great, John. On that, on that note, I'll say good night. Have a great weekend, everyone. And talk to you later, John. And we'll uh, get the video going. And uh, take care, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you very much for watching.